Very official, right, guys? Thank y'all so much for being here. Uh, pretty unbelievable and incredible day. Very excited to be joined by our cabinet and looking forward to getting to work very quickly with each of these outstanding individuals who I know are going to do a phenomenal job leading our state and working in great partnership with them. Uh, we've also got members of our senior staff here who, uh, if you don't know, I know you'll get to know over the course of the uh, next eight years. Hopefully they'll stick around with me for that long. Or maybe better yet, maybe I'll stick around with them for that long. Um, I made very clear in my inaugural address a few minutes ago that we were not going to take things slowly and that we'd be getting to work right away. And with that, uh, we're going to sign seven executive orders today. The first one that we are going to sign is the one that I mentioned in my speech. Um, and I think it's really important that we start limiting the expansion of government, something I talked about extensively over the last two years on the campaign, uh, and I intend to uphold that promise. So today we are going to sign um, this executive order that will stop government hiring in a promotion freeze and make sure that we are actually looking for ways to reduce the size and scope of government in the lives of Arkansans and prioritize making things more efficient and returning that savings to the taxpayer. So with that, we're going to get started. And I'm going to sign my name a little bit different today because there's 14 cabinet members and only seven executive orders. That way everybody gets to come. And I do have prettier pens coming too. You are a quiet crowd out there. I have a feeling that's not going to last, right? <laughs> we got our eye on you down back there. The second executive order will prohibit departments and agencies from imposing new government rules and regulations without my approval. We are going to continue to look for ways that we can limit 
the scope of government and empower Arkansans. And making sure we are not just putting more and more regulations on our citizens, I think that we are doing a much better job of empowering each individual, and that's exactly what this will help us do. You're like the official pin passer, Jacob. <laughs> You probably should have. Maybe y'all can trade later if it fits better to you. Y'all can auction them off on eBay or something. The third executive order, uh, we've had a lot of executive orders that have been signed by governors over the course of many administrations. The problem is uh, there's not a great resource of what exactly all those executive orders are. Uh, we don't know which ones are still in the books, which ones are obsolete. And so with that, uh, I'm going to ask that our new Inspector General, Alice, Allison Bragg, there she is, I was looking on the wrong side, uh, to complete an exhaustive review and analysis of existing ex executive orders in a timely and appropriate fashion so that we can actually manage the executive orders that are already on the books, remove those we don't need, uh, and continue those that we do. So I know Allison's going to do a phenomenal job getting to work on that. We'll make sure you get the right pen to start with, Allison. I'm not going to fight over here against that one. Over, uh, there are a lot of shocking statistics when it comes to government. I find more and more of them every day. Uh, one of them happens to be the Department of Labor. The state of Arkansas spent more than $53 million on improper unemployment benefits due to ineligible applicants over the course of three years. We're going to make sure that doesn't continue to happen because our Kansans deserve honesty, transparency, and accountability when it comes to state government spending. So I'm signing this executive order to direct our incoming Secretary of Commerce to implement strong measures to enhance the integrity of workforce services unemployment and reduce the rate of inappropriate payments to ineligible applicants and reduce fraud. You will make sure you get this pen. <laughs> Daryl, I think you should get the other one. <laughs> this is y'all's space. Thank you. One of the things that I've talked about pretty consistently and something that I think we have seen a, a tremendous amount of public support for is making sure that our schools and our education system are actually focusing on teaching our kids versus indoctrinating them. So this is an executive order uh, that will make sure we are rooting out and things like uh, critical race theory, discrimination, and indoctrination have no place in our classrooms. We're going to root that out and make sure it never sees the light of day here in the state of Arkansas. Jacob, I'll make sure you get one of these. You might have somebody fight you over one of those. I don't know. Don't worry, we're getting close to the end. We're only signing 25 tomorrow, so it'll be a lot easier. <laughs> I guess you'll just have to wait and see what not. I can't tell you everything today. I take the fun out of tomorrow. As you know, uh, there are a lot of problems uh, when it comes to dealing and engaging with communist China. We know that their predatory behaviors are a particular challenge, especially when it comes to communications and technology. We want to make sure we're protecting our assets, protecting our employees, protecting sensitive information as much as possible. And that's why we are making sure that we are banning TikTok from all government devices. We're looking forward to doing a lot more on that. And last, but certainly not least, thank you. One of the things as governor that I will not permit is the government using culturally insensitive words. Um, according to research, only 3% of American Latinos and Hispanics use the word Latinx to describe themselves. Yet during the transition, we found numerous instances of departments embracing the use of this term. 
uh, and the institution which governs the Spanish language has officially rejected the use of X as an alternative to O and an A in Spanish, and today we are rejecting its use in state government in all documents. Thank you all so much. It's already been a uh, pretty productive day. Uh, I've made very clear that we're gonna hit the ground running. I can't tell you how excited I am about the team that's around me and what I know that we can do working together. Uh, we're gonna have a great time tonight. Today we celebrate and tomorrow we get to work in a very, very aggressive way. Thank you all so much for being here. We appreciate it. You're not taking questions? Not today, but we will. I promise. <laughs> Questions saying, I promise. I'm sorry. It's it's in um, Department of Education information.